Hi, in this video, we want to talk about how to capture video from camera using Python OpenCV like this. So please stay tuned. First of all, you should install the OpenCV package by simply typing pip install OpenCV-Python. And then we need to import the OpenCV package. So we simply type import CV2. But now if I type cv2.imread, you can see that PyCharm doesn't recognize the function. So in this case, instead of importing the OpenCV package with this line, you should simply type from cv2, import cv2. And now we can see that if I type cv2.imread, we can see that PyCharm recognizes the function. And in order to capture video from camera, I mean webcam, you should simply type cv2.videocapture with capital V, and it should pass a number. And because I have two webcams, the first webcam is the laptop's webcam, and the second is an external webcam. I can pass zero or one. So because I want to use the default laptop's webcam, I pass zero. And I store the results in a variable, let's say called webcam. And then I define a variable, let's say called as top, and I assign false to this variable. And I want to use a while loop to stream the webcam, or let's say show the webcam, as long as the user doesn't press Q on the keyboard. And if the user presses Q on the keyboard, we will stop the process of streaming, or let's say showing the webcam. So I should simply type while the stop variable is equal to false, then we are going to read from webcam. So we simply type webcam.read, and it returns two values. The first value is whether the process of reading or let's say streaming from the webcam was successful or not. So I assign to a variable, let's say called RET, it stands for return. And the other value is the frame or let's say image because the videos that we are looking at are basically a combination of many images or so-called frames that are shown very fast after each other that seems like a video. Then we simply type if the return variable is equal to true, which means that if the streaming from webcam is successful, then we want to show the frames one after each other. So we want to simply type cv2.imshow because you want to show the image. IM stands for image. And we should specify a name for the window that we are going to show the image on that window. For example, which is a arbitrary name, for example, kulak. And then we want to show that frame variable on this window. And then we simply type cv2.wait key and we pass one. It means that we are going to wait at most one millisecond. Remember that this is millisecond, not second. So we are going to wait at most one millisecond for the user to press a key on the keyboard. And we sort the results in a variable, let's say called key. And then we simply type if the key variable is equal to Q. It means that the user presses Q on the keyboard. Q in my mind stands for quit. So in that case, you want to stop the process of streaming from webcam. So I simply type stop is equal to true. It means that we want to stop the process of streaming from webcam. And remember that this while loop is going to run until this condition is true. But if the user presses Q on the keyboard, we change the stop variable to true and it causes the while loop to break. But also you can write this code in another way. You can simply delete this line and you can simply replace this with true. So here we are typing while true and remember that this condition is always true. So the while loop is an infinite loop. So here we simply type if the user presses Q on the keyboard, we are going to break the while loop. So this is the second method for writing this code. And after typing these stuff, we want to release the webcam because maybe another program want to use the webcam. So I simply type webcam.release because you want to release the webcam. And also we simply type cv2.destroy all windows because you want to close all the windows. Now, if I run the code, there it is, you can see it works properly. And if I press Q on my keyboard, you can see it closes the window. Now I really suggest you to watch this video, which is on the screen now, which is very relevant to this video. 